Welcome to EcoSync. Uh, this is our application. So first of all, we have we'll log in as an admin. So this is the dashboard for admin. Now in the new features, we have integrated the contractor data, contractor dashboard. So we can search contractors list sort and we also have the contractor logs we can uh, monitor the activities of the contractors so we can also add new contractor as power our requirement and we can also assign uh, the designated STS to the contractor and uh, we also uh, we can see that the list has been updated and we can also add a contractor manager and give the relevant data to the contractor manager so uh, this contractor manager will be assigned to a contracting company uh, now we can see that we also have the workforce data we also as uh, include workforce as a cleaner and this is the cleaners under dncc we also see the monitoring data of workforce in the right side so we can uh, log out and now we'll go to another role which is um, and a uh, new role uh, that is given in our requirement uh, which is a contractor manager you can log in as a contractor manager which is added by our admin now in the contractor manager we can uh, add uh, employee contractor uh, company employee for a contracting company so we can give the relevant details and safety data and we can also see uh, the logs of the employees these logs are related to com uh, contractor manager we also have the bills list we can where we can print the bill and uh, we also have created a plan which is a collection plan so here we will select an area which was added by an STS manager and we will give uh, the relevant uh, information which is um, specified in the specification uh, now we can see that we can assign each employee and group and this employee will go to that foot and collect the data and, and it will generate auto duration from the group. Now we can see that from the uh, creation of collection plan we will uh, generate a schedule so that the employees can follow it and get the work done. So we will uh, now go to another role which is um, an STS manager. We also made uh, some modification in the STS manager and we can see that we can add a vehicle and uh, other stuff entry uh, dump entry in uh, as an sts manager so we will uh, put relevant data and we can see that uh, the history of the dump is shown here we also see the schedule for the west transfer for uh, in the terms of sts manager we also have integrated google maps api for generating the uh, route for sts to um, uh, STS to uh, landfill. So we also added a live tracking for vehicles which are currently assigned to our STS. So we can track which vehicles are where uh, related to our STS. And as a new feature, we can also add um, areas and routes uh, by uh, STS manager. So these areas and routes will be used to create plans and the multiple plans will be used to create schedules. So these are the routes and the areas that can be uh, added by the STS manager. We also have bills. Uh, that STS manager will issue bills to the contractor company, the third party company, and that uh, then they can print the bill and generate the bill. So they will be making the bill for a week and they, if they uh, could not complete the target, they will get fine and uh, then they will get penalized and now we'll move to another role which is our landfill manager uh, we i have implemented the role based access system so every role has different dashboard so as a landfill manager we will uh, we can add entries of trucks when the trucks came to the landfill so we can also generate bills when the trucks complete their trips in the landfill we can also see the schedules and when the trucks will come and other things and we also see the storage of STS where the how much data is stored. We also see the bills list and we also see the landfill data uh, information. We also integrated the change password method. So we have, um, uh, first of all, we will uh, show you the forget password features that we have implemented. So if we press to the forget password uh, method, then uh, it will um, get a capture and we will have to provide our email for forgetting the password and the uh, no mail will be gone to our email for resetting the password so here uh, we have to give, give a OTP and we have implemented it in the mail 
So we got the OTP in the mail and we have to put it in the system to get into the system. So after giving the OTP, a new password will be given to the mail. Okay, so we will have to use this new password to log in into the system. So here the mail comes, so you can see that our password has been reset. So now uh, we will use the same email and the new resetted password to log in. So you can see that we can uh, log in uh, now, right now. We also used uh, implemented the change password method. So we can uh, use the capture and uh, match the old and new password to change the new password. We also implemented the logout method. So this is our web app. Uh, we'll move into the <coughs> mobile application of our ecosystem so this mobile application will be used by citizen and the third party employees so the citizen can log into the system and um, see uh, posts and shared communities and also raise issues about uh, their uh, problems in collecting the waste and they can uh, give detailed description and the issues the issues will then go to the admin section and admin can see the issues and take actions according to it we also have uh, three uh, types of landmarks for the users they can uh, as per required in the specification we also see that we have volunteering events listed in the app so the uh, the citizen can register for volunteering for an uh, event through our app so this is the volunteer request form so this uh, this is the process by which the uh, user will uh, be a volunteer in an event now we can see the employee part of the mobile app so the employee will have a checklist of his current assigned task uh, for, from which you have to collect pickups and garbage so he will do the task and check in and check out then this check in and check out data will be sent to the admin section and the admin can look at the data and monitor and track the employee activity so the employee part was this thank you this was our presentation